All right, hi everybody, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a collab with Crystal over at Makeup and Me. Um, I will link her channel and everything below. I literally begged her. <laughs> I like sent her a message on Twitter. I sent her a message in uh, her Gmail. I spammed her. Um, anyway, so she had posted a haul on these um, Sally Beauty. These are the, um, what are these called? femme couture that she had picked up at Sally's so I went and got four of them so I am using two in this tutorial today um, they are supposed to be dupes for the L'Oreal shadows and these are a little bit more reasonably priced than the L'Oreal ones I think the L'Oreal ones are up to like eight or nine dollars now depending on where you get them so today I'm using um, black diamond and smoky topaz which look like that as well um, I do not have the black from uh, L'Oreal. I was going to pick it up, but this black is absolutely gorgeous. So I did this look. So if you want to see how um, I came up with this idea, then keep watching. And don't forget to go over to Crystal's channel and check out her tutorial. Um, thanks. Anyway, so I'm using the uh, Smoky Topaz. I'm going to show you in the intro. Forget it. I'm just going to get started. So I'm going in first with this Frappe color from Makeup Geek. I'm going to prime my eye first. Let's get all up in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying. I'm sorry. Uh, what? Uh, sorry about the lighting. Okay, so I'm just going in with this um, I Love Stage. And I'm going to put that all over my lid, up to my brow bone, and a little bit underneath whatever's left. Going in finger. with a crease brush. And this color, Frappe, from Makeup Geek, and my link will be below if you'd like to support me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put that on my, uh, like, this is like uh, your crease, but on my brow bone because uh, I'm using it as a transition color. So there you have it. Going in with my base, which is the matte brown. <laughs> like that transition from Maybelline. I'm just going to put just about that much, not a lot, um, on my lid with my finger and kind of just make sure that it is um, a good like transition up into my crease. So I have about that much on. First color, which is Smoky Topaz Elf Brush. This works actually really great with these types of shadows. Um, and it's a dollar. Okay, so we're just gonna pat it on. This has lots of glitter, so I'm trying to control the fallout. And I just want it to come up into my crease. So you're making, for me, I'm making about a moon shape, like a half of a circle, like a half moon. And I'm just putting it as close to my crease as I can. I'm going to take this deluxe crease brush and I'm going to just blend it into the crease so I don't have that harsh line when I close my eyes because I do have hooded eyes um, and I have a crease. So I, I've noticed it a lot more in videos, but you know, it is what it is. So um, yeah, so there's the, the line blended. Just to make sure that it's blended a little bit more, I'm going in with this Makeup Geek Color in Mocha, same brush. And I'm just going to put that into my crease, trying not to get it up on my brow bone, just to overlap that color just a bit. Um, so there you have it. This IB116 round crease brush from Crown, it's a like smudger brush. I'm going in with this black diamond color, mm, I like this color. And I'm just going to stamp it in, tap off a little bit of the excess, and I'm literally going to stamp it in a V shape and control the color. So I have very light pressure on my brush um, because I don't want it to go up into my crease. So you see this one is just like a V like half. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm just gonna pull the color. These are so pigmented you really only need a little bit. I, I love them. I think they're great. I'm so glad that Crystal did. She had done a haul and that's how I was like, please do a collab with me. <laughs> because these were so cool and I just thought it would be a great opportunity for us to work together. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take that same color, tap it off, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to smoke out underneath and I'm going to go about halfway. Now I didn't put any liner on my bottom uh, 
because I wanted to do it at the same time and show you guys. So like this one doesn't have any in my waterline, but you can see like you really need it. So it's kind of important. I'm gonna take a uh, flat smudger brush back into that smoky topaz color. If you didn't wanna put it in here, you could always use what's left on the cap. There's always plenty on the cap to, um, to do this part. And just kind of smudge it in. And that's it. So there's the smudged look for that one. Um, I, what I did um, with the other eye is I went back over with that frap color or frappe, whatever you want to call it. And I just made sure you could see it because it kind of got lost a little bit with, with the brown and stuff. And I just wanted to smooth out that line. So last I'm going to take um, a brush, a clean, well this isn't really clean because I just used it. but. I used a, this is a Sigma Eye Shading E55 into Shimmer Shimmer. And I'm going to use that as my brow highlight today. And it's going to be pretty pronounced. I don't normally do such a, like, dominant under eye. I usually use Brulee from Wet n Wild. You can really use whatever cream shade you want. And I just think that really pops your, um, your brow. So I'm just going to go back in and blend a little bit because I think, it, it, to me, it looks a little bit weird. So I'll just use the mirror behind me and make sure I blend that out. Um, going in with my L'Oreal pencil, you guys know this is my recent favorite, and I'm going to make a line. I'm loving these, this like, what is it called? I should know by now, right? I don't know, they're calling it an eyeliner brush, or... I'm brush listen to me you know when you go to film this is just a, like I digress um, you tend to forget all vocabulary I don't know what it is my husband was sitting with me Robbie was sitting with me one day and he goes why why are you talking like that because when you when you start filming you're like oh, oh, I forgot all my words <laughs> I think because you're so concentrating on being perfect and nobody's perfect All right, so love it. I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna smudge it just a little bit. This L'Oreal stuff, I, I know everyone has like an opinion. Um, some people say they don't like it. I personally, I think it's great. So I'm gonna curl my lash and I'm gonna put my Rocket Mascara on. All right, so let's go in with some brighteners. I'm going to use my Maybelline today. This is the Maybelline. So I have my blush and my contour on this side. I'll tell you what I'm wearing in a second. I'm trying to not mess up the rest of my makeup. I'm so sorry. I'm probably fighting over who gets the um, Cinnabon. We went to the mall yesterday, the girls and I. It's so funny. All right. So I'm sorry, I'm going in with this L'Oreal color corrector in the 230 color. I haven't tried the newer ones. Um, I still have quite a bit of those ones left. So let me just clean up my mess and I will be right back with this all like. So I'm gonna set it. Multitasking as always, the laundry's in and it's finished. <laughs> Um, so I'm just setting with this Revlon powder. I do have a backup that I got for Christmas in my stockings. So see how that just kind of, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I just have bags, people. <laughs> okay, so blush. Let's do blush. Okay. So I have my MAC palette out today. I already contoured with um, Harmony, and the blush that I'm using today is Mocha. It's not actually a chocolate color, but a pink color. So I'm going in with this Sedona Lace brush. It is a 919. They don't know who I am. I paid for it with my money. All right, so I'm just kind of like half smile, raise your cheeks a little, and kind of get that in. Moved stuff around. I wish I could show you, but I can't. Um, I'm gonna use my Rimmel water waterproof cajole and do my waterline.
You could tight line at this point as well. I just choose to do that. These, this is my favorite pencil. You guys know this. It's the Rimmel Scandalized Water Coal Waterproof Cajole in black. These do not make my eyes burn. I love them. All right, so I'm gonna put my lipstick on and we're gonna be done. All right, so I'm using this Chilled Brandy from Milani. Looks like that. Oh my gosh, it is number 22. It's so pretty. It's and I'm going to go in with this pencil from Rimmel. It is a Rapture. There you go. My lips are not, my, um, what do you call that? Your, your arch, mine's not symmetrical. It really doesn't bother me. I'm not going to put crap all over my face just to make it look nice. So, all right, let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so there's my finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I am so grateful to, um, Crystal over at Makeup and Me to, uh, want to do a collab with me. So, um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in picking up these products, they are at Sally Beauty, and they are $4.99, I think, on sale, and yeah, so that's that. Um, oh, so the the outfit of this will have been in uh, Style Me Saturday, um, so if you're interested in the details for my outfit and all of that, um, please check out that video. I will link it below. I will link Crystal's video and her channel below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe. I know I feel like I look a lot different. That's because my hair is regular. This is how it looks like regular. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I like this look. I think it's a little bit more dramatic than I would normally wear, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe. Tell your friends. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Bye!